Fabio was all right, but the girl he was with was pretty banged up. Did you know what he was doing? No, I had no idea. Casey lied to me. He told me Xavier had gone home. I didn't know anything about the scooter until I found it missing. And why would Casey do that? He was trying to help his mate out. Gonna cover for him, but it's just a bad call. Very bad call. Yeah, well, don't worry, he won't be doing it again. Yeah, just go easy on him, all right? It's been a tough night for everyone. Yeah. Charlie! Morning. I saw you coming here. Hi. Um, look, I'm just going to the diner for a coffee. Would you care to join me? Uh, I'm still working, but yeah, sure. I'll get in touch with you and let you know what I find out. Yeah, thanks, Sarge. Get off. He's in the hospital. What? Yeah. He and the girl he was with. They crashed the scooter. Are they all right? Yeah, yeah. Lucky for you, they are. What do you mean, lucky for me? Well, you were the one that let him go. And if I'm not mistaken, you're the one that lied to me about it. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, he was the one that made the call. How's this my fault? Yeah, Brax, it's the kook's fault, not Casey's. Come on, mate. But I'm, I'm breaking my back to get you set up here. I don't need stuff ups like this to set me back. Living in a dodgy motel and getting in each other's faces is not getting set up, Brax. I think it's better than where we were. You were at least at home I had somewhere to work. Now you tell me I've got to nail this HSC, yet I'm working on my bed listening to people go for it in the next room. How is that better? Is there anything else you want to complain to me about? Yeah. Why are you always on my back? Because I'm sick and tired of you making stupid mistakes. Your HSC, this place, it's your ticket out case. So you keep telling me. All right, you get back to work. I'll talk to you about it later. No, I'm done for the night. See, mate. Sure, it's in the ones out. What's that supposed to mean? Well, this place. You remember why you got into it, right? Because right now, I don't think you do, mate. All I'm saying is, money's getting tight. Yeah, I heard what you said. Well, when's the next crop going in? Well, I've organised the seeds. That's as far as I've gone, so we're looking at six to nine months tops. Nine months? The boys can't wait that long. Yeah, well, if there's someone who's got a problem about it, tell them to come see me. <sighs> if being respectable is what you really want, maybe you should let someone else take care of you know, other things for a while? It's being respectable is what keeps us in business. All of us. Well, that plan falls through if there's nothing to move. <laughs> Who do you suggest I get to take over? You. Why not? No, no disrespect, mate, but you wouldn't know the first thing about it. You reckon? I know. Hey, you're back. Yeah. I thought I'd treat myself to a cocktail. Well, there you go. I didn't figure you to be a cocktail drinker. Oh, you haven't figured me at all, Mr. Braxton. Um, I will have a scotch, top shelf, and two cubes of ice. Please. Come in right up. Thank you. Yeah, seeing the turnaround here is um, a testament to your business acumen. I don't know. We make pizzas and sell them to people. It's not rocket science. No, but still, running any business is a tricky proposition. Well, I ran a furniture importing business in Bali. You work there, you learn fast, or you go under. Really? And what exactly did you learn in Bali? What's it to you? I mean, are you writing a book or something? It's called Making Conversation. You should try it sometime. Really? Maybe you should take off home, mate. family. Can't live with them. Can't kill them. No, well, not without careful planning, anyway. <laughs> well, you were saying, um, business skills you gleaned in Bali? Yeah, well, I guess, uh, if you had to sum it up, it, it teaches you to read people. Everyone's after something, you just have to figure out what it is. So what are you after? And we are talking here for a reason, aren't we? Well, let's be honest, shall we? I mean, you're a rather shady character turned restaurateur. You must know that a lot of people are rather curious about you. Just an average bloke making his way. Oh, well put, Mr. Braxton. Deceitful, but well put. <laughs> well, you can call me Brax. Um, no, I'd rather keep it Mr. Braxton. It's a bit more intriguing, really, isn't it? So I intrigue you? <laughs> no, not really. Um, I'm just interested in anything that involves my stepdaughter. Right. Well, what do you want to know? Oh, you'd be surprised what I already do know. You see, years in court have honed my people-reading skills. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I'm just concerned about Charlie. I mean, she's a very conscientious girl. She's committed to her work and normally very careful about her choices. Yes, she is. Well, we all make mistakes. 
I just hate to see her leave herself, shall we say, exposed. You know, there is something else that you and I have in common. Really? Go on, what might that be? We both do anything to protect the people we care about. Well then, I guess we understand each other, Mr. Braxton. Braxton's a no-show again. Yep. What's he at home washing your uniform case? <laughs> I don't know, he's probably caught up at the restaurant or something. Too busy to hang out with his mates or sir. We don't fit in with his new respectable image. You know it's not like that, hey. Is it? Look, it's cool that you're loyal, but loyalty's a two-way street. Look how it blew up at you over that stupid bike accident. And he's not letting you get home. It's not right. Okay, he's not stopping me doing anything. I don't know what your problem with him is, but you sort it out, because I don't want to know. All I'm saying, he's either one of us or he's not. Things around here need to get sorted. <laughs> Who's a ranger? That's Ruby's grandma. Morag, I think. She was in the bar last night, mate. She sure asked a lot of questions. It's her job. Or it was. He used to be some lawyer or judge or something. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. She was the judge, mate. Did you know that? Yeah, I did. So what? Since when do we deal with people on the other side of the law? What's the deal? No deal. She's just a smart woman who's retired and was looking for a bit of conversation. No way. She was after... What are you so worried about? I can... She's going to keep coming until she gets what she wants. Yeah, well, she will if you keep baiting her. What were you thinking, mouthing off at her like that? Do you think you're going to scare her? Because I can guarantee you, mate, you won't. She's not going to scare easy. You got a better idea? Yeah, I do. Maybe use a bit of charm and brains. Charm and brains? Yeah, I'm, I know you missed out there, mate, but don't beat yourself up. I've got it covered. You just leave it to me. Turn it up, will you? Don't pick that, eh? <laughs> it's good to see you standing. Thanks. Don't mind me, I'm just here to see it's a fair fight. Fair enough. I gotta tell you, I don't get stung by people that often, eh? Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. You look, in the boy's defence, he hasn't bit himself since his breakup with his girlfriend. Yeah, well, that's fine, except when I pulled him up for his attitude, what'd he do? What'd you do? He pretty much flipped me off. I know. Uh, I stuffed up. Big time. But Scooter's a write-off, for one thing. Well, obviously, uh, I'll cover that. And you can take whatever out of my pay each week. Yeah, but, see, that's the problem, isn't it? You're a delivery driver. How are you going to drive without a license? Well, I could do the dishes. No. We've got a dishwasher. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't think this is going to work. You fire me. I'm sorry, mate. Can't trust you. If I can't trust you, you can't work here. Xavier. Don't, Case, I'm not in the mood. No, I don't care. Now, you told me mates come first before anything. Xavier's my mate. Yeah, and it's because he's your mate that getting fired was the worst that happened to him. Anyone else would have been in hospital for a week. Well, that was big of you, wasn't it? I can still change my mind. Because that mate of yours has left me down a scooter tonight, and I've got enough to worry about without that adding to it. Now, you leave before I get you to do another double shift. You are so caught up in this place, you don't see what's going on, do you? No. Nah, what? You're losing it. And Heath, he's just waiting for you to stuff up so he can jump in. Yeah, well, maybe I don't care. Oh, that's really, really sad, Brax. I got to face the fact that there's nothing more that I can do. Oi! Casey! What? What are you doing here? Just playing footy. I thought I told you to go home and study. No. Nah. That's what I'm telling you to do now. Get out of his face, mate. He's on holidays. Were you questioning me? Yeah. Casey, okay, so go home and study. Because when I get out of the water, I don't want to see it. Boys, who wants to go for a surf? See, loyalty takes years, not days. 
Should write that down. Right there.